All right, for the last section of our, <coughs> excuse me, probability stuff, we're going to move on to more uh, complex probability. Uh, probability with many different events and many th different things happening at one time. Uh, this could be uh, two events, it could be ten events happening at one time. So uh, you'll just have to kind of keep on your toes here and figure out what's going on. With our complex probability, we're going to be taking what we did in the simple probability and we're going to be kind of putting in the step and that step is going to be multiplication and you are going to see that uh, in a little bit here. Um, when we do this we're still going to think about what we did in the last part where we think well the probability of this is what fraction? The probability of this is what fraction? But in this case we're going to be multiplying them together to see what the probability of both things happening would actually be or three things happening or four things happening um, and then this is going to be key and it, it doesn't seem like a big deal at first but um, we're going to talk about what happens if you uh, do something where you draw something out and you put it back and then you draw something again or if you draw something out and don't put it back and draw it again because there's going to be a, a little bit of a difference between the two all right, I've got a picture of this uh, spinner up here, and it's got different colors on it. We're going to get a lot of mileage out of this spinner here because we're going to probably do, I don't know, five or six different practice things with a spinner. Uh, we'll include like a coin, which everybody would be able to talk about, uh, and then we'll include like um, some dice and things like that with this. So we're going to start off with the first one here. Uh, I want to get the probability that on the spinner you would spin a red, uh, then you would spin a green, uh, and then you would get tails if you flipped a coin. 